Leo. I'm a do your mid April to May reading of this current year. It's going to be a thunderdome, so it's you and the other person you are dealing with. As always, we start with creep one. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, all good. If this doesn't, don't worry about it because probably nobody cares. Um, well, you care. That's why you're here, and that's why I'm here. So, group one, we'll start with you. Bam! Someone's being unfair. Six of Pentacles, reverse. Uh, King of Pentacles, reverse in the wants and wishes. Uh, strength is in your fear. That's you. That's your fears and rejections, and you're afraid of yourself. We got temperance in the situation, which is calling for patience. Queen of Wands, reverse in the obstacles as well as the challenges. And they're coming against you. The tower reverse for someone still has yet to hit that tower moment. And the beginning theme is Seven of Cups. Might be a little bit of emotional confusion. You might be using your creativity to get through that emotional confusion as well. Um, but there are still options for you and you're trying to look through all of them. Though on the surface you aren't really showing what you're really feeling underneath. There's a few of emotions going on. Great. Great. So, let us begin. Group one. Now I'm starting to get warm in this hoodie. I was no near near this level of warmth before. Right? Right. There. Okay. So, Leo. Group one. Right? Right. Something doesn't feel balanced. Six of Pentacles could be dealing with the Libra in this as well, but that is definitely Earth energy. Someone is definitely trying not to give as much as they should in the situation. Being miserly. Not even caring about um, not giving enough, right? Because they're unhappy, they're not satisfied, they're actually quite dissatisfied. You'd think that they would say something, but they don't. Hmm. Someone is, um, Someone's noticing the unfairness, and that's what's making them unhappy. But then we got temperance in the situation right here. Which is like, someone's being patient in order to wait for arguments and fights to end. Or for conflict to be over. With the five of wands reversed. Then we have the king of pentacles right here. Could be Taurus's card, but also Virgo and Capricorn. Um, this person's kind of a con and a liar. They aren't really trying to be stable, but you want them regardless, and something's going to move forward with them in the future. Either this person isn't providing the way that they should be, or they're just pretending to provide and telling you whatever you want in order to make things move forward anyway. Like, there's energy behind this person. You want them to have that drive, that whatever, but it's like and they're supposed to be a provider, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Down below is the Queen of Wands. Could be Sagittarius. I say that because she's my rising sign, but also Leo or Aries as well. She is in bitch mode where she's like, I want what I want and I want it now. She's being very aggravated. She is saying things that probably um, she isn't thinking about how it pisses people off because she's too pissed off for not getting what she wants. She could also be lying and hiding things from you, being very demanding, very extra. But she's also not coming out and saying something. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? Like, she's being very cold, very distant, only speaking very bluntly, speaking truth things. Almost because she knows that, like, if she lets her... It's like, it, this person could have air and fire in them, and it's like they're using their air energy to hold back that fiery rage that the Queen of Wands tends to have. And that's what's kind of going against somebody, like, someone wants to say something, but they're not. They're keeping their emotions in check, they're keeping their temper in check, which isn't a bad thing. That's kind of going against you. But that, uh, that's not a bad thing because it's also a challenge as well. Like, how long can you keep your mouth shut <laughs> in order to keep from everything exploding? Strength right here. This is a fear and a rejection. So this could be the Leo, right? Not being happy with themselves. 
It's because this is Leo's too, but this is the sun. It's reversed. I always say the sun is Leo as well. So it's like, there's a fear that the Leo is not happy with themselves. Like, there's so much strength in it, but it's like they're, it's not unhappiness, unhappiness, but it's like, it's the cloud there, like something just over your head, just like, you know, ah. Uh, I could do better? That's why there's no satisfaction here. That's why someone's trying to wait out conflict. Tower reverse, right? Someone's already hit the ground, but the other person has yet. But they're kind of like just floating there. Like, you know, like, oh, I don't need to face reality. I can wait. I could put it off almost. Because tower is like delaying the inevitable. Oh, God. Okay, I'll take you. Now, when it comes to commitment. Or doing the right thing, or establishing rules, laws, regulations, ordinances. Um, it's just like that energy of like, a, this is the head of the household, this is who makes the rules, this is the right thing to do. Kind of like one of those things, right? That's what the Hierophant speaks of. Commitment and following through with things or whatever. And then the ending theme is... There's some betrayal, and that's why someone is inside of themselves feeling a little bit emotionally confused. Like someone got stabbed in the back, and they are aware of this, but they are so, like, into their arts and stuff that they're trying to avoid what's keeping their, um, light side dazed and confused and just space out there like you know it's like um it's like it's like someone feels backstabbed or betrayed but they don't know what to do hmm. right, let's see four or three advice cats for ooh, someone definitely wants to be nurtured and loved Okay, you can calm down. Um, definitely feel like there is missed opportunities here somewhere. Right? It feels like somebody manipulated some stagnation and like... Now they feel like there's traps with a Queen of Wands. Mentally, emotionally, physically. Could be you, Leo. Could be somebody you're dealing with. But, like, she's trying to look good, but she's still stuck in this, like, crazy-ass relationship where it's just slowly but surely driving her insane. Or there's some sort of bondage here that's driving her insane. Okay. Oh. There is a lack of communication here, of course. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So it's like, you're thinking about it, but you don't want to talk about it. But it's okay, because everything's going to be squared away. Regardless. Like, the lack of... Like, there, like the Tower moment hasn't hit somebody, and it has something to do with commitment. Um, possibly a relationship, possibly marriage, because the Hierophant talks about that. Possibly dealing with the Taurus somewhere. But it's like, someone is afraid they're not okay with themselves when it comes to this relationship. But they're going to be fine, because they got the King of Pentacles up right here. Like, they're going to get back on their feet or something? Hmm. Let's go to the second creep, shall we? Creep two. Let's see. Da -da 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 okay. Creep two. Oh yeah, this is Gretchen. She's my little gargoyle angel. Gretchen is cool. She's also a redhead, so watch her tongue. Alrighty. Grant two. You settle down. 
Yeah, you definitely got some conflict on your mind, Group 2. Definitely. Alright, let's see what the cards have for y'all. No whammies. Okay. Group 2. Page of Pentacles Reverse. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Four of Wands and the Wands and Wishes. The Tower is what you fear and reject. Da, da, da. Five of Swords Reverse. And the Situation. King of Cups and the Obstacles and Challenges coming against you. The star as the catalyst as well as the final result and the beginning theme is two of pentacles reverse. Not sure how to juggle um, whatever options you're looking for. Well, I can look at these two because they just popped out. Yeah. You feel like hiding and you feel like you don't want to communicate with anybody. And if you do, you're kind of quick, blunt, and to the point so you can end the conversation quickly. That'd be nice, right? Alright, let's see. Page of Pentacles Reverse. I like to say a traditional writer, wait, this is somebody who's a disappointing idiot. This is somebody who um, tries to ooh, manufacture things. Trying to get the wheel of the turd, I saw. They try. It's just this lack of accomplishment. That's all. It's like um, too immature and too impulsive to actually think of their plans before implementing them. And that's why they're a huge disappointment. And that's why somebody's very much unhappy. Someone can be impulsive with like what they're trying to create or whatever. Right? And then I have the Ten of Cups reverse because they're dissatisfied. We got the Five of Swords right here, which is like, you won the battle, but you lost the war kind of vibe. Like, someone tried to be mentally and emotionally manipulative, and it just didn't work out in their favor, right? And now the door is closed on them because they didn't think about it. Like, it, I mean, this is definitely air energy. I'm not sure who's. It could either be a Gemini or an Aquarius, right? But this person thought that, like, they get the last laugh. But lo and behold, the door is now closed on them. Then we got the Four of Wands, where what someone wants in their home is to be complete, established, happy. You know, having, having no wants or needs. Like, to have the whole shebang in their household. Even have two dogs child grandpa sitting over there and being like I'm doing buck of my day you know like that kind of thing right um this king of cups right here which is going against you and your obstacles and challenges pisces cancer scorpio someone who was um very much emotionally involved with themselves i mean they can make time for other people that are too focused on how awesome their cup looks and how awesome their outfits look to really care like you know he he's very much looking at his cup but at the same time it's really like one of those blank faces a thousand yard stare right while well, he's holding his cup like this is my cup this is how i feel okay well every, you just set everything in fire i know but this is my cup and this is how i feel. like one of those things right because a queen of wands again, reverse, bitch mode. This person, it's kind of too involved in their own feelings to notice that they're being very, very Sagittarius like, very like, wow, 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 wow. This obstacle going against you. This tower mode, which you're afraid of, where one person's already at the ground, the next one's about to smack it. The commitment. Okay, you and group one both had something to do with commitment and relationships, marriage, family. Um, like you're afraid that the tower is going to show you that you got to be committed. Or that there are rules to follow, that there is some morality that should have been kept alive. Then we got the star right here. This is Aquarius. This is about communication. Discussions coming together. 
the catalyst as well as the final result is this person might be waiting to communicate or just if it's an Aquarius waiting for you in general and I just dropped that card so and the ending theme not having the passion to worry about your options or not having the passion to try to sit there and decide which options better for you like you don't want to do anything you're out of energy you don't want to try that's fair, but it's like, it's weird that you and, um, group one both have the tower as well as the hierophant. Yeah, it's like the first one doesn't realize yet, and the other one does realize it. Oop. Ooh. But there could be a brand new offer coming your way, group two. Ooh. I don't even think you guys are even in the same mental state. Like, you're both are on the same page, or in the same book, but you're three chapters apart in it, you know? Yeah, there there might be a breakup or a disunion coming up right here. Gemini's card, um, the lovers, reversed. Like, you want this connection that's happily ever after or whatever, but it's like you're kind of dealing with somebody who, um... They're emotional... But their emotion sends them sometimes over the edge. And a lot like Sagittarius, they could be a bit much. And like, it, it's almost like your challenge is to like, learn how to live with this person, deal with this person. This also could be Leo being all worried about themselves and not realizing, you know, like they're kind of being bullies to people. But that's either or, it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't know if that's Leo or not. With the Queen of Wands right there. If it was the King of Wands, sure, because that's definitely Leo. But Queen of Wands is more like Sagittarius. Or Aries, one of the two. Final advice card for y'all. Tower fucking reverse. Okay. So you want to offer something to this broken up relationship in order to suspend everything because you know almost like money averts like this tower coming in right just weird but that is all for y'all so that's your reading thank you for watching my video and if you want a personal reading my email is in the description below, and I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.